some time ago, WhatsApp announced plans to allow you to use WhatsApp on more than one phone at the same time. And now that time has come. The feature has started to roll out. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocketlint, and in this video, I'm going to show you how it's done. Now, before we start, I'm going to assume that you have WhatsApp logged in on one phone already, be it Android or iPhone. We'll call this your primary or your main phone. Linking a second phone works in pretty much the same way as logging in on WhatsApp for web or using the desktop app for Mac or Windows, except instead of linking a computer app or an in-browser WhatsApp view, you're linking another phone. That means it counts towards your limit of four additional linked devices. To get it working, unlock your secondary or companion phone and download the WhatsApp app. That's from the App Store if you're an iPhone user and from the Google Play Store on Android. Once installed, open it and start the process. Agree to the terms and accept notification access requests and any other permissions it asks for. Now, when you get to the screen that asks for your phone number, don't type it in. Instead, tap the three dot more menu in the top corner and then select link a device. This then generates a QR code on the screen of your secondary phone. Now pick up your primary phone, open WhatsApp and find the settings menu. On Android, tap the more options three dot menu. On iPhone, tap the settings in the bottom bar. On the next screen, choose Linked Devices and then Link a Device. It should then open a camera view and might ask for your permission to access the camera first. Allow it and now point it to the QR code on the screen of the second phone. And that's pretty much it. It'll take a few seconds, but it'll connect and sync your chats so that they appear exactly as they do on your primary phone. You'll be able to see messages and notifications come in in real time just like normal and read or reply to messages just like you can on your main phone. There are a few things to note though. If at any point you need to log your secondary phone out, Open the linked devices settings screen on your main phone again. Choose the device from the list that you want to log out and then tap log out on the next screen. It's also worth noting that you do need to make sure you log into WhatsApp on your primary phone at least once every 14 days. Otherwise, it will disconnect that session on your secondary linked devices. Now, that means this isn't transferring your chats from one platform to another. You need to keep that primary account and device active in order to keep it working reliably on your linked devices. Now, you don't have to always keep your primary phone nearby. You can use WhatsApp on your second phone just like you can on your first. Just make sure the phone stays active by opening WhatsApp on it at least once every two weeks. So there you go, a quick guide on using WhatsApp on two devices. For more WhatsApp tips and tricks, be sure to check out our hidden tips video and our extensive WhatsApp guide on pocketlint.com. If you did find this useful, please do hit that like button, subscribe and tap the notification bell, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.